Hey, good morning, Periscope. I'm Will Gantz with Good Morning America, and I'm here with Penn Jillette. Yes, Thank you, you so much for being here this morning. You have a new book. We've been talking about it for a while now. Okay. Presto yep. comes out today. It's out today. Tell me a little bit about the book. Well, I lost, uh, I used to be much fatter than this, and I lost over 100 pounds. I, I lost probably your weight. <laughs> I lost your whole human being. And um, I, uh, I, uh, I did it by doing a pretty uh, pretty radical diet. It's the first book, I've written eight books. It's the first book that people actually asked me to write. Mm -hmm. People would come up to me all the time and say, how'd you lose all the weight? Because it was noticeable you know, right. to lose your weight. And, um, and so I just wrote down my experience, how I, how I, uh, how I think I lost the weight. We're never really sure without a control group, but right. at least what I went through for, I lost it all, almost all of it in three months. Which is crazy, 100 pounds in three months. Yeah, actually, yeah, about, about 80 pounds in three months, yeah. That's still, you know, like you were saying, it, it was a pretty radical approach. Very radical. And it has to do with potatoes. Well, that's what I chose. I wanted to start out two weeks on a mono diet just to get you out of eating for entertainment, to get you away from salt, sugar, and fat. So I could have chosen, uh, you know, beans, I could have chosen, you know, broccoli, but I chose potatoes because I think they're the funniest. <laughs> and say, they, say the word potato. Potato. It's funny. Potato. Sure. Say it's funny either way. <laughs> so a few words you can say both ways and it's funny. So for two weeks. Yeah, I ain't nothing but potatoes. Nothing but potatoes. Yeah, and you, what you do is you get to completely divorced from what they call SAD, the standard American diet, mm -hmm. of just salt, sugar, and fat all the time. And by the time you go through two weeks of that, the first time I had corn on the cob, it was like it was candy. Wow. You know, you've, 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 you, you get so desensitized to, uh, to salt, sugar, and fat, getting out of that. Also getting away from all the social aspects of eating. Being able to say to people at dinner, I'm just going to have a glass of water. I mean, it's the hardest thing in the world to do. Right. But once you get into the groove of it, it's really easy. It becomes habit. Yeah. So now I'm very comfortable going out to eat with friends and enjoying the company and not eating. And while you were doing this two weeks of nothing mm -hmm. but potatoes, it wasn't like you were just going rogue and doing it yourself. You worked pretty closely. Yeah, with, with, uh, with, with Ray Cronice, who used to be at um, used to be at NASA and is doing a lot of work with Eight Loss. His book will be out soon. It's very technical and all the real data. My book is just kind of a goofball, my experience with it. Right, right. Because, you know, I, I ate like an idiot, so I had to diet like an idiot. See, the problem is... I don't, uh, not only do I not, uh, am I not able to do moderation, I don't even respect moderation. I hate moderation. And the idea of doing a diet where, oh, you just eat the same stuff, just a little bit less, is no fun for me. I want to go hardcore in everything I do. And this is, to say the least, pretty hardcore. It's pretty hardcore, it's yeah. I, I do uh, no animal products. Uh, I don't say vegan because uh, that carries with it a lot of political implications. I just don't happen to be, be interested in it right now. Uh, no animal products, uh, no refined grains, and extremely low salt, salt, sugar, and oil. So no bread dipped in olive oil or anything. So, right. You know, because Oreos are vegan. So if you say vegan, you haven't said very much. <laughs> um, so I, I read that going into this, before you started this, this weight loss journey, you were a fast food kind of guy. It's somewhat. You know, I also ate expensive food. Sure. But, um, but uh, yeah, I would just eat like most Americans, you know, go out for pizza, mm -hmm. friends, you know. Do you, do you find yourself missing any That's of that? That's the shock. That's the absolute shock. If you try to do smaller portions in moderation, you constantly have the cravings. If you stop completely, it's kind of like uh, quitting smoking or any of those things. Uh, I don't have any cravings at all. You know, once in a while, every couple of weeks, my children will say, come on, you know, have some pizza with us, have some ice cream. Every couple of weeks, I'll do that. Sure. And it's amazing how there's no real craving for it. Whereas I used to get that all the time. I don't wake up in the middle of the night going, wish I had a pizza. I wake up going, wish I had some blueberries. Wow. And I have them. That's amazing. Yeah, blueberries are just, I can eat pounds of them. <laughs> and you know, I also have... eat huge amounts of food now, by the way. Huge amounts. It's just, I eat, you know, salads and, you know, and, uh, and, and, and beans and fruit and stuff like that. Just large amounts. Right. How has life changed for you aside from the diet uh, aside from what you're eating every day how has life changed since you lost what surprised me was uh, how much my, uh, my disposition changed I considered myself a happy person and now I look back and it doesn't seem like I was uh, I have so much more energy you know I'm a rather old dad my, my daughter is 11 she was born when I was when I was uh, when I was 50, and uh, I used to have to, I always played with my children, sure. but I kind of had to psych myself up for it. Now I can just get up and run up the stairs. Wow. The other thing odd about the diet was no exercise while I was losing weight. 
now I exercise, but while you're uh, losing weight, it's very important for me not to exercise because you don't want to be doing body. Mm -hmm. So you take three months, you don't exercise, you don't eat that much, and then after the three months, exercising is wicked fun. You almost don't have to do it because I feel like running places anyway. So what are you hoping that folks who are reading Presto, who go to the bookstores and grab it today, what is the main takeaway? Is it is it advice for... It's, it's mostly just what I felt emotionally. I mean, there's a lot of people that want to diet with Weight Watchers and eat regular food and be careful and have a little portion. And those people are doing fine. Right. But for the people that uh, aren't able to do moderation, I would like to do stuff that's hard. You know, I started as a juggler and then I went to a magician. And no one brags about walking up a slight grassy hill, they brag about climbing Everest. Mm -hmm. And I want to be proud of the crazy stuff I do. What I needed to be told was, you know, you can do something hard and you'll be proud of it instead of dying without noticing it. So if someone wants to do hardcore stuff, this is the way to do it hardcore. This is if you want to do it easy, there's a lot of books for that. Right. So speaking of juggling and uh, magicianship, you are a master illusionist. What else are you working on? The book comes out today. What's the next? Uh... Well, we got we got we got fool us is is uh, still out on the CW. We're still doing shows like that with that Alice and again, and that's doing very very well. You know, when you get into magic, you get into magic, not to fool people. You get into magic because you love being fooled. So right. We have this show where the greatest magicians of the world come out and fool us. And Teller and I, you know, we're now the longest running headliners in the history of Vegas. Not just now, but in the history of Vegas. Wow. And we put in new stuff all the time. You know, you, you're not supposed to. People, all the other Vegas shows come out, do the same show all the time, right. play golf during right. the day. But all I've ever wanted was to do tricks with Teller. So we, uh, we take up new magic tricks and put them in. So we're always writing new stuff. Amazing. All right, so for those of you who are watching, uh, the book, Presto, How I Made Over 100 Pounds Disappear and Other Magical Tales. And I've lost this much weight, this much. Right here, this is how much he's lost, <laughs> is out today in bookstores. You guys need to pick it up. Uh, it's intense, it's inspiring. Yes, it's intense. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, it may have the most obscenity of any diet book. <laughs> that is also true. Awesome. And uh, I tried to steer clear, you know, we could talk about what else is in the book, but being that it's a morning show, sure. we'll, we'll, focus, sure. we'll focus on the, the weight loss part of it. Thank you so much, Thanks a lot. Penn. It's been great chatting with you. He'll be on GMA in just a couple of minutes. You won't want to miss more of this awesome, awesome story of all the weight loss and how he did it, and that'll be on GMA. For now, we're signing off at Periscope. Thanks, guys. Groovy.